I know later on, it happened that the guy that run the theater, they lived on past us a little ways, and they had a, he had a brother that was about our age. But anyway, we'd go every Saturday, boy, that afternoon, that was showtime, we would go. But a guy that owned it, I don't know how he happened to meet me one day, was in there, he said, hey, would y'all have had these flyers out uh, to each house plate on the doors on the, what the movie was called. And I'll let y'all in the movie free. Buddy, we took that in a hurry. Oh, wow. It didn't take us long to get rid of the flyers either. I bet. We'd be back up there and we'd get to see the whole movie. Not only that, but he let us put them out for quite a while. Every day, every Saturday. Huh. And that's what we would do, different things. Uh, uh. Hmm. What, the, what was your horse's name? Do you remember? Blaze. Blaze? Mm -hmm. He's a real good horse <clears throat> for riding or for plowing. It was owned originally, if I remember what Dad told me. Originally, it was owned by a man that uh, worked for the lumber company, and he would use it to ride through the woods on uh, where the timber they were taking out, and what have you. And how Dad come to get him, I don't know, but it was a real nice horse, a good riding horse. And uh, we'd go riding on that on the weekends. I'd, Four or five of us boys get together and we'd have races and everything else. Huh. Either that or if it was, didn't have the horses. A lot of them, the dad wouldn't let them ride on the weekend. He said, no, them horses got to be out there working Monday. They need their rest. And the dad wouldn't let them ride them. We'd get together, a bunch of us at one of the barns. And we'd, throw corn cobs at one another. We'd have one bunch in the barn up in the loft where the hay was and the others on the ground. And there'd be a lot of old cobs around because of the animals eating the corn off the cob out there. And what we would do is we'd slip up, take our cobs, soak them with water, and then throw them at them. <laughs> we had a lot of fun back then. <laughs> and we didn't have a lot of toys to play with, I mean. But we just made what we could. Well, a lot of fun. Did y'all grow a lot of vegetables? Yeah. Yeah, we grew tomatoes, peas, beans. I guess probably we raised corn. We didn't raise much corn. I didn't remember there. And uh, all just different things. A lot of them like your potatoes. We had a special house that Grandpa had built. Grandpa and Grandma owned that place. And then when Uncle Frank and that Lola who lived in California, would come to see them ever so often. They bought them a place up at the edge of town, and Grandpa's, uh, what he had out there was 100 acres. He divided up between the boys, and we got the 10 acres that had the house on it. Huh. And uh, he had a smokehouse built there too where he'd keep a lot of his meat would hang. And he had that other little house built right there next to the real house. And in it, it was in, on the shelves, put your potatoes and, and onions in there and them things would last all winter. And he, uh, he also had a little stove he'd, if he got too cold. He could hot that, light that stove when it'd bring enough heat that the potato stuff wouldn't freeze. And uh, you'd have 
say the dirty old ear onions, those big onions. Hang them up in there with them. Oh. 